Welcome to the Import a Depth Grid for a Flood Scenario video tutorial. In this video, we will provide an overview of depth grids and walk through how to import a depth grid into Hazus to create a flood scenario. A depth grid is a raster GIS dataset that depicts variable flood depths throughout the extent of a flood event, and it greatly increases the accuracy of your analyses because of the specificity of the water depths. Depth grids are generated from a multitude of source data, such as DFIRM, SLOSH, and event high watermark data. They can be obtained from FEMA's Map Service Center via the link in the video description, from a colleague, from an HPR of a previously created scenario, generated from other products, or from other outside sources. The depth grids from the FEMA Map Service Center are ready for direct import into your scenario and often include the 500-year, 100-year, 50-year, 25-year, and 10-year flood events for your study region. If a depth grid for your study region is not available to download, you can generate your own outside of Hazus. More information on this process can be found in the How to Build a Depth Grid tutorial video. We have our scenario open to a pre-made study region and are ready to import a depth grid for a riverine flood analysis. A reliable method for setting up a flood scenario using imported depth grid data is to simply work your way down the hazard menu. First, define the type of flood analysis you will run in your study region. Open the Hazard menu and select Flood Hazard Type. Here you are given four options for the type of flood scenario you can build. One, riverine only. Two, coastal only. Three, riverine and coastal. And four, storm surge, which is a combined wind and flood analysis. For this example, we will select riverine only and click OK. If you wanted to create a coastal analysis scenario and import a depth grid for it, select the Coastal Only option and follow the process outlined in this video as the steps are the same. Next, you can import the hazard data for your flood scenario. Return to the Hazard menu and click User Data to launch the User Data dialog box. Select the Depth Grid tab. Hazus is currently able to import depth grids in the following formats. Grid, Imagine, or IMG file, Tagged Image File, or TIFF, HECRAS FLT, and File Geodatabase formats. Hazus uses the WGS84 projection, but if your depth grid is not in WGS84, Hazus automatically reprojects the file on import. To start the import process, click Browse and navigate to the folder that contains the depth grid you want to import. For this example, we have downloaded depth grids from FEMA's MSC to import into our scenario. For your own analyses, remember the name and location of the folder where you have stored your depth grids. From the selection dialog, you can choose your depth grid and even select multiple depth grids for your study region to support running different types of analyses. For example, we could include both the 100-year and 500-year return period depth grids for this scenario if we wanted to run analyses for both of these events. However, we will simply import the 500-year depth grid. Before importing the depth grid into the scenario, you must provide Hazus with the measurement parameters and the return period this depth grid represents. Click Set Parameters. This depth grid is measured in feet and represents a 500-year event, so we will select Feet from the Units drop-down and enter 500 into the Return Period text box. Click OK and you will return to the User Data dialog box. Click OK and the depth grid will be integrated into your study region. A map of your study region will appear when complete. Do not be alarmed if you do not see the depth grid. It will appear when you create the scenario. 
Now, we will create our riverine flood scenario using the imported depth grid. To begin, open the Hazard menu, open the Scenario submenu, and click New. Note that if you have imported multiple depth grids and want to run multiple scenarios, you will have to repeat the following steps for each scenario, and each scenario name must be unique. A Create New Scenario dialog box will appear asking you to name your study region and provide a description. We will call our scenario Depth Grid 500. It is important to note that spaces or special characters are not allowed. Click OK and you will be brought to the map view where your imported depth grid appears and the new scenario dialog box will allow you to select the depth grid to use in the scenario you are creating. Click the Add to Selection button and then click and drag on the map to draw a rectangle around a portion of the depth grid you would like to include in your scenario. When selected, the outline of the depth grid will turn light blue. Click Save Selection and then OK to confirm your selection. As you can see in our example, the depth grid turns dark blue. Next, we will open the Delineate Floodplain tool in order to define the hydraulic analysis inputs of the scenario in order to reference your selected depth grid. To do this, return to the Hazard menu open the Riverine submenu and click Delineate Floodplain. The Riverine Hydraulic Analysis dialog box will open. First, you will need to define the type of analysis using the top drop-down. You are given three options, full suite of return periods, which will run the analysis across all return periods from 10 to 500 year flood events, Single return period, which will reference a single depth grid and single discharge, which is not for depth grid based scenarios, but for stream discharge type analyses. We will select single return period since we only have one depth grid and click OK. A prompt will appear asking if you would like to continue. Click Yes and Hazus will process the analysis. This may take several moments. When the analysis is complete, the completed depth grid and boundary polygon will appear on the map. A message will appear to let you know that the scenario was created successfully. The orange outline you see is the inundation boundary. The varying shades of blue represent flood depth, with darker shades signifying deeper water. Congratulations! In this video, you learned about depth grids and how to import a depth grid into Hazus to create a flood scenario. Look for more Hazus video tutorials on the FEMA YouTube channel.